Yo guys, what's going on? It's me KRV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this Garden Mode Kramer. Now, with this Kramer build, you cannot die. It is a really good build to use because with Kramer, you have different elements that you can use. So, in your emissive, if you change it to like red, you'll get the like fire element and so on. So, if you see here, it is fire right now, and this changes what the elemental ward actually is. So, if you see here on the elemental ward, we get health and we get damage a second. So when you change this to white, you have ice, and this will make it so you get armor instead, I believe. Yeah, you get armor, and you get a damage multiplier. Now, this is actually really good. You get, also, you do get status chance, but I'm not really trying to focus on that, as the main weapon that we use is the Kronin Prime. So, so here we have the Vex armor, what gives us a total of 696% armor, and we also have Elemental Ward that gives us 298 armor, and that's not a percentage, that's just 298. Uh, you can use Effigy if you want to, you do get like uh, armor reduction and all that, but I don't really use it too much. Uh, I use it like once, but I don't use it that much. So main things that we use is Molt with our Regenerative Molt argument, Elemental Ward and Vex Armor. We always want to have all these always up as Elemental Ward and Vex Armor is going to 1 give us damage and 2 give us the armor. And then obviously Molt is for healing us because if you didn't know with Chroma when you use your Vex Armor you have you have your two uh, bonuses you can have so armor and damage. Now one of them you get from taking shield damage, the other you get from taking health damage. So having that health from Molt regenerating back is really easy. So instead of having to use like one of your health pieces, then you can just use Molt and you heal back up. And you can use this really quick because Molt, like you can like instantly use it. It's not like with like Vex Armor where you have to wait a couple of seconds because it has an animation. With Vex Armor, it's just instant. There's no animation to it at all. So you can, that's a really quick way of getting health. Now Elemental Ward as well, it does have animation, but it is really nice to have. So let's just like talk about build right now. So here we have fleet and expertise for efficiency. We have a max blind rage, what I don't use often, but for this build it works really well. We've got prime continuity on here for the duration, narrow-minded for the duration, vitality and umbral vitality, umbral arm, umbral fiber. So we have the both umbral mods, regenerative mod and prime flow. Now, if you want to, you could get rid of prime flow and put something else on here that you prefer. Say, for example, you haven't uh, you haven't um, formed it for prime flow, and say, for example, adaptation. You could put adaptation on there if you wanted to, as that would make you more tanky. But personally, I just think that would be a bit too much. And also, you don't have to have Prime Flow because it's energy. When on Chroma, when you have Prime Flow, you have a ridiculous amount of energy. If you see here, mine is at 700. When you take off uh, um, Chroma's Prime Flow, you have 300 energy. Well, it's still a decent amount, but again, with Chroma, his energy, a lot of stuff do cost quite a bit. So see if Rex Armor costs 71 and you're going to be doing that about every 40 seconds. You don't want to wait till it runs out. You want to wait like I normally do it when I've got like about 10, 5 seconds left and then I'll recast it so I don't lose every, all my buffs. So make sure you do have energy. Pattern Prime Flow is nice to max out. We have Arcane Guardian and Arcane Energize. Arcane Guardian for that 600 armor was well, very nice. Arcane Energize for obviously just to get energy uh, quick. Now the Creative Prime build, normally I have Heal and Return, but this time I didn't actually use Heal and Return as I wanted to test out the health and how the health back would do. So here we have Condition Overload, we have Blood Rush, Berserker, Prime Reach, Vicious Frost, Vernal Scourge, Reaper Wounds and we have Body Count, body count Instead of Heal and Return, just for that uh, extra combo. Now you can have something else instead, maybe you want to have like, I don't know, Prime Fury or whatever mod you want to have on. I wanted to have Body Count on or some sort of combo duration mod as that will then make my combo last longer and obviously having a 12 times combo is nice. You could use Gladiator Rush because then you, you have like an extra, you have a 10% critical chance per combo count multiplier. So that will obviously work with Blood Rush. That's basically been it guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It will help me out a lot. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.